In college, we are taught about so much of Western galore, so much of the Western idea of how does design look. But if you have to learn design in India, you have to go to India's heart, which is in India's villages. Namaste, I'm Vinay Varanasi. I practice facilitation in design and in education, though I've studied architecture. I run Unbind, which is an organization focused on bridging the gap between academics and practice. I was really, really lucky because I got a chance to share this common passion with some other people who also this mattered to a lot. Since all of us are from an architecture background, our area of interest was to look at architectural education and see what can we offer. Unbind was born from a simple question saying, what happens if an architecture or a design student asks a question? Where does that question get answered? All that Unbind does is very simple. We conduct workshops and we conduct immersion journeys. These are programs where we take people to villages and they go through an experiential process. Immersion program that we conduct is called Prabhav. Prabhav means impact. The idea is not that this program is only for designers. It's for anybody who is asking, what is India's design story? When people ask a question like that, we take them to Prabhav. The idea for us was not just to go to any village. The idea was to identify villages that had some indigenous design, craft or architecture history associated with them. So the village that we conduct Prabhav in is called Banwasi, which is in Karnataka. And we spent seven days in this village. We didn't want this to be something where people go to the village treated like a museum. The idea was how do we break another kind of gap between urban and rural. So how do we encourage that conversation? Banwasi is home to a very indigenous art form called Pith Coronet Making. Coronet is an ornament worn by brides and grooms of Karnataka in certain communities on the head. And uh, Pith is the material that is used to make these uh, coronets. Pith is now endangered because of thermocol usage. Thermocol is faster, it's easier to produce and therefore a lot of pith makers have switched over to thermocol, leaving very few people actually doing this. The core of the program is focused on spending time with these artisans and these craftsmen and really understanding the art and the artist. The idea is that uh, they learn from each other. So a very important part of our program is about creating spaces where that co-learning happens. When the participant interacts with the artisan, what's really exciting to see is what happens hands-on. Because when they see someone who's so seasoned doing something, for example, pith, flowers are made out of pith and some very fine cuts are required. But when they picked up the knife, suddenly hands are getting cut, suddenly the material is tearing left, right, center. And these processes take time. So they sit and they do this for hours at a stretch and then realize, oh, there is so much of complexity here. What happens through these kind of interactions is that the spaces for conversation increase massively. Our participants themselves start to wonder, how do I give back? So one aspect is identifying design possibilities in the village. If there is a project that involves building something, one of our participants might choose to stay back or to come back at a later point or be a part of it. For example, one of our participants was very keen on understanding if she could uh, collaborate with the women of the village and have them help her in a project on sustainable menstruation. And also on a daily basis, they start spending more time outside of the program and along with the villagers. So the structured component decreases and that's when they start realizing they're giving back in their own unique ways. One of the most interesting aspects which really keeps us going is just seeing how people are so interested to create social change, to understand the development sector, but there is absolutely no place where one can begin. A program like this becomes a foundation step for not just creating social change, but also understanding social change at its grassroots level.